for the past few years, we've been observing um, overwhelming number of clean energy requests are rushing into our interconnection queue. With a process that was not originally designed to handle large volume of interconnection requests. So all these um, renewable requests are experiencing delays in the interconnection process all over the country. Improvements to our current interconnection process will largely help to clear the backlog. Our interconnection uh, group deals with new interconnection requests that are including transmission, generation, and load requests that are seeking to interconnect to our New York State transmission system. We're working hard on improving everything that we can in our process that we have control over. There are a lot of other aspects that affect any given developer, any given new interconnection that are outside of our control, outside the NISO process. We're mindful of those. We're thinking about what we can do to clear the gates through our interconnection process to allow them through, but they're gonna have plenty of challenges outside of our process to deal with as well. There are other uh, tasks or activities that has to be done outside of the NISO process to guarantee that these projects go in, um, in commercial operation that for somebody that is new can be confused. We understand that. We implement all of these type of tools so the developer also gets familiar. We have to guarantee that these projects uh, interconnect uh, in, in reliable manner. Uh, we don't want, like a, for example, uh, a facility uh, get overload or there is a damage of equipment uh, do it to in incorrect analysis. We have to make sure that when they interconnect, we can guarantee that uh, that they interconnect safely. When you have a lot of demand, then you need uh, you need more uh, transmission lines so you can transmit the power from the generation uh, to all the way to the low. We have generation upstate New York, but most of the low is in the in New York City and Long Island, and do it that the objectives is evaluating part of the of the new generation that is connecting into the system then we have to guarantee that those upgrades are in place my core responsibility in the interconnections group is to uh, keep the products moving forward as best we can um, with the number of products we have ongoing the admin side takes care of um, ensuring that we have the deposits the site control that's taken care of um, and any of the milestones that are required for these products to make sure they maintain their timelines that are outlined in the tariff or scheduling of meetings, uh, such as the scoping meetings, the results meetings for these uh, studies, the amount of work uh, that goes into the interconnections and the sheer number of products that we see in the interconnections uh, group is astronomical compared to what it used to be. We have a very dedicated team uh, not only the engineer within our team, but we also have all the function around the ISO to help to support that. It's almost like it takes a village to achieve something. We work hand in hand with legal. Uh, we also work with all the function within the ISO, for example, uh, stakeholder services, where our first responder to the, the inquiry from the customer. And then working with finance team, addressing uh, any uh, billing issue. So, not only are we that we lucky enough, we have a dedicated um, uh, engineer team uh, within planning, uh, within interaction study, but we also have a, a, a good pool of support from other functions uh, within the entire New York ISO.